Hello YouTube, this girl helps solve her own murder. Michelle Martinko was born on October 6, 1961 in Iowa. She attended Kennedy High School in Cedar Rapids. She was a wild act student. She had many close friends. It could even be said that other pupils were jealous of her beauty. On the evening of December 19, 1979, Michelle Martin co-attended a banquet organized for the Kennedy Concert Choir. After the event, she went shopping at the newly opened Westdale Mall, where Martin co-worked. At the mall, while shopping for a new winter coat, she spoke to a friend who used to be her boyfriend. His name is Andy, and their conversation was friendly and uneventful. She was last seen almost 9 p.m. outside a jewelry store in the mall. At 2 a.m., since Martin Co had still not returned home, her father reported her missing. Her family and the police began to search for her, and at 4 a.m., they found her stabbed to death in the car of her parents on the parking lot by the mall. Martin Co had been stabbed 29 times in her face, neck, and chest. She was fully dressed and the medical examiner determined she had not been sexually assaulted. Police concluded that she had not been robbed and considered the killing to be personal in nature. Michelle's ex, Andy, was a prime suspect. He also behaved strangely at the funeral. He was hysterical. However, during the investigation, Andy's mother said that he had already been home at the time of the murder. He was cleared. The investigation continued and the suspect was still not been found. Several years later, a man called Larson reopened the investigation. After a careful analysis, he found that Michelle had defended herself during the act. Drops of the attacker's blood were taken from the dress and steering wheel of the car. DNA tests were carried out but no matches were found. In 2018, a DNA Phenotyping company took the data they had collected the year before and turned it into a public genealogy website. The company created a family tree starting. This is how they found the killer, a man named Jerry Lynn Burns, who was 25 years old when he killed Michelle. On December 19, 2018, investigators went to Burns' business in Manchester. Iowa to interview him. He refused to voluntarily provide a sample of DNA but was compelled to do so with a search warrant. When the DNA sample was tested, it matched the blood sample found at the crime scene. Exactly 39 years after Martin Coe's murder, Burns was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. He entered a plea of not guilty. On February 24, 2020, after three hours of deliberation, the jury found Jerry Lynn Burns guilty of first-degree murder of Michelle Martinko. On August 7, 2020, Burns was sentenced to life prison without parole. Jerry was a stranger who had nothing to do with Michelle. Why do you think he killed her? See you tomorrow, guys.